Born in Gumflas, Jim College of Law studied in the Living Room. He and Tito began with plays and trying to start some book group from your head. And placed on the table as he blocked on the couch beside him. My walked his watering. He spoke while unwrapping the sandwich. Your injuries made him chuckle. He took a big bite of sandwich before humming at the taste. Do you like it? Mm, it's so good. Your choices in food are best. Mm-hmm. I've always been eating sandwiches from this cafe. Here is mine. He extended his sandwich in your direction. You smiled and leaned to take a bite of it. As you chew, your eyes widened in amusement. Your one tastes way better than mine. I wish I had chosen the same sauce as you. He smiled and made you grip at his sandwich and took yours in his hand before starting munching on yours one unbothered. Your confused expression changed into admiration when you realized he actually switched the sandwiches just because he said you liked his one. Come on, eat quickly. He always does cute little gestures like this. In words, these are little gestures, but the effect they always create on you are best. That increase the love and admiration for him day by day. Thank you, you're my sweet man. After gulping the last bite of her sandwich, he spoke. Hearing the compliment, his ear turned red as he looked at you with zombie eyes. No need to thank. His words interrupted when his eyes went down on your lips. Chuckling internally, he leaned to you. His action made you dance. His palm touched the skin near your lips and your heart beat raised. Thinking he would kiss you, but he just brushed off his thumb and looked into your eyes. We got sauce here, my cute clumsy mama. He moved back while your cheeks felt hot. You don't know the to embarrassment or the closeness and touch of this. If you select another movie to watch, I think this all in the kitchen. You quickly picked the place and trash and rushed away. I was focused on the movie when I felt weight on my shoulders. I looked to see sleeping lion. A small broke on my lips, I turned off the TV and made her lay down on the couch comfortably before covering her with blanket. For the past two weeks, she was very busy with the project. That's why she had spent nights a weekend. Though her project has ended yesterday and she didn't have office today as well as we have taken off. But she couldn't sleep last night due to her bed and Dan woke up at 10 with me as she didn't want to waste a minute of her time. Because we usually spend time together due to our work. But since she's sleeping now, I'll do some work. Ah, uh, who's this? I said in low voice as soon my cell phone rang. That could disturb my sleep. I quickly picked up my phone and silent it before she would wake up and then moved aside to pick the call. We hit the Yeah, I think people have come to the office right now. We have meeting with Mr. Sam. But as far as I remember, our meeting is scheduled for tomorrow morning. He thinks but suddenly you guys are changing in word and I have to fly and fight tonight. I won't be able to join tomorrow and my presence is necessary. Dan is my business partner. I'm currently very doing a big project for Mr. Kang. I requested Mr. Kang, and as it's a simple meeting of about an hour, he entered for the meeting. And now things are ready to I'll be in your office within an hour, so be quick.
without hearing my aunt's story out of the cold, and I like to pass by before making my way to get ready. Day out is usual again by the weekend, right? Coming from the meeting in my office room, I asked back Hank, Yeah, yeah, for sure I will. And no way, I can't miss the family dinner arranged by my favorite auntie. Yeah, if you want to come, then my mom will be jungle joked as king and chuckle before looking at my life, our friend, and my secretary. He didn't invite me right, right? Or our dinner will get ruined. He made a weird face before laughing as Mirai gave a downbeat. Not funny, and said for you, and he has invited me too. Because I'm his friend and auntie likes me too much. Who likes this witch? Shut up, say. They always bigger like this since college days. Yeah, me and they will be friends with Mirai in our college. Well, there is Jin Hyung Bain's cousin. He's from Lin Jin Hyung's family, and my family have close and old Greek friendship. So, at three of us. Let's have coffee. No, I need to go. You know, the young why I took off from office. Mine has taken off as well, and. Oh, yeah, you have to spend time with your wifey. He rolled his eyes playfully, but the word wifey made her glance of the woman standing there. Yep. The good point was she was sleeping, otherwise she would get mad if I come while she was awake. You know how much conscious she's about our eight seconds. And I still be mad if she had woken up by now. I'd buy her perfect treats on my way to make up to her. His lips curled up, talking about you while his eyes were sparkling. Oh, caring husband? I never see it before, but being a CTO herself and her brother who's CEO, she should know that our temper can come up. You're a CEO after all. Being mad at those is so childish. She spoke with bitterness in her voice, but Jungle shrugged it off. Come on, she understands me and my situation at best. It says she pretend to be mad to get my attention. Attention, secret conscious. She said, following that circle that provoked jungle, but it's a cop. If she is, now she's for me. Which wife doesn't want her husband's attention? If she doesn't seek mine, then whose? And if I don't give my beloved wife my attention, then to whose? All my attention, along with everything, is just for her. Jungkook said proudly and put on a fake smile. His word made Mirai clench her fist and grated her teeth in anger. Why and why and why you always chant her name, always? Wife, love. Mirai got up in a rage had caught your attention and went out slamming the door. Did she got mad at my answer? Well, even if she did, it was true. Yeah, but not gonna lie, since she came back from Apra, she's been behaving strange. Yep, I noticed her specifically at the topic of lion. Whenever Jung talks about you or your marriage life, she always tries to find out negative about you. She wasn't like this in college time. However, Jung shuts her up with sarcastic answers. But he thought picking a fight over it with a friend would be immature unless it got out of hand. After the college ended, Mirai's parents sent her abroad for further studies, though she didn't want to.
poor her couldn't even print fast account before going. Unfortunately, she had lost her mobile, so I spent that. Jim was on social media as well. Meanwhile, Jacqueline assumed she was busy with her own life, had a reserved personality, and didn't consider knowing much about her family, so he couldn't even send invitation of his marriage. Mirai, who was doing her internship when she saw news about Jungkook's arranged marriage, that was in two weeks. While well, they were engaged for two months, but made it public two weeks before. He came to Korea and confessed that he wasn't with her and he got stuck in a work. And here you he want Jungkook got married. But she came to Korea and instead of being CEO of her dad's company, She insisted her parents will let her work as Jungkook's secretary to learn about business as he's a successful business tycoon, but it was an excuse and actually she just wanted to be close to him. That's how she has been his secretary for the past two months. Anyways, I got to go now, take care buddy, come back safely to attend the dinner. Haha, <laughs> for sure. I rubbed my eyes before fully opening them. Duh, how you could sleep? Damn, it's 6 30. Oh god, Jungle must be working in the office. I stood up and went into the kitchen of PC for my favorite thing food. I came into the kitchen to find a note that was from Jungle and had written that he had gone to office for important work. Ah, uh, now more half an hour will be wasted. I tried to find some sweet snacks but couldn't find any. I go, ah, uh, what? There's nothing sweet to eat. I literally ran out of snacks. Tomorrow I'll have to have clothes to store to restock them. Right now I should feed my dummy the granny. Saying to myself, I go to Ramihan and set on the bar stool to eat while using my cell phone. You were in your own world that you didn't realize Jungkook had come home. I was standing right behind you. Hey, pretty girl. You flinched at unexpected voice. But calm down saying you don't cook. However, you quickly erected your face. That made him bow. He then held your sitting finger and put his chin on your shoulder. Oh god, my wife is mad, hmm? I'm sorry, it was urgent. Look, I didn't even take long. Yeah, you had not long, just three hours. You were smiling inwardly. You really love to act like this because you love to be. He treated you of fake madness. Ah, uh, so you were sleeping, honey? Tell me, when you woke up? Half an hour ago, maybe. Okay, then I'm ready to pay penalty for half an hour. We turned to face him and raised your one eyebrow. How would you pay the penalty? I already prepared. Ta da! He rolled his hand up, then were carrying bags. He put them on the counter beside the empty bowl of ramen. What is this? Only your favorite foods cupcakes, donuts, croissants, and much more from your favorite bakery. Jungkook's heart fluttered as he observed your eyes sparkling with enthusiasm and your lips curving into a stunning smile at the sight of the delicious treat. He knew you loved it whenever he bought you something. And the joy in your eyes as you admired those treats always flashed his sight and warmed his heart. You really know how to hit my weak points when making up to me, huh? Mm 
he spoke while checking the bags as he kept hugging you. As a husband, I must know. Hmm, then I should have changed my way and not been convinced by these dudes only. Doesn't matter, I'll make up to you anyhow. We'll see. But for now, I'm forgiving as I was praying for them so much. He spoke and took a bite of donut as gently smiled. I know. Thank you. My wife looks pretty. You who are sitting at the edge of the bed in order to wear your hair built up, hearing the compliment from the man who came out the closet room after getting ready. My husband looked handsome, so all I can. After all, my wife's glow radiating everywhere and making everything shining like her smile. He raised your eyebrows in amusement before smiling hard and surprising your giggles with bright cheeks and gentle admired. Oh my gentle, you sneak on everything thought you were so cheeky. To see the fuss off, he shrugged his shoulders before walking near you and sat on his knees that made you confused. Why? Let me help my Cinderella to wear her heels. He giggled and shook your head in denial. You don't have to. He searched you and made you wear your heels. Not to let her soon you both left. Oh, come on, you don't know how much nervous I was. I hand over that meeting, okay? I squinted in my eyes with my brother's chin. Yeah, okay, go play as you want, but it can't change the fact that I need to leave. Yeah, how much makes this work except that, huh? You're going to know how much I worked hard, right, Cook? Here's John Cook, who was sitting beside me. Hmm, she looked hard here. Oh, husband is sitting beside her. Huh? Okay, enough kids. Right now, let's get up for the dinner and then continue your bickering. His mom, who was sitting on the couch with Jungkook's father across the street. But where is Mira Jungkook? She hasn't arrived yet. My smile instead returned into phone here in the air. You invite her in the front the get way. Yeah, poor kid is alone. Her parents went abroad, so I invite. I simply noted, but there was very feeling in my heart. I'm not a typical wife and don't like her husband having female friend. Moreover, she is his college friend. I also have one or two guy friends from my college that Jungkook one night. But that is, I don't like the way she is trying to get close to Jungkook in front of me. More likely trying to show me that she is closest to Jungkook. That was a failed attempt because Jungkook didn't care her attention and she was gazing at me weirdly. For sure, I just can't jump to the conclusions, blame her and told Jungkook about something that was just my feelings, as I have met her for once only. I can't judge her, though she worked with him as well, I just trust Jungkook. Passing me the salad, he asked me if I knew it and put my spoon on the plate before picking the tray of salad, but turned when I heard, here. I turned and saw Mariah holding a tray in front of him, but before Jungkook could take it, I took the tray from her hand. Thanks, Mariah.
I was the first small and third Jungkook. Oh, just look at her face. Yeah, she's still behaving the same way she did in the first time. Now it's pissing me off. She hummed and focused on her food and I could see Jungkook smirking. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. Yeah, now it's time for day. See, Jungle, when I got my red Jenna badge, the only but only single here is you. Get a girlfriend, bro. We all were teasing you who was watching. No, what's wrong? Marriage, fiance, I'm single, it's right. And Anandu will be engaged, married, and barren. So if you want to have fiance, then Jin Hyun should get married and you would have a baby. Yeah, I wanna see my grandkids. Hmm, will you shopping? And your grandfathers will spot them. You and Jungle got embarrassed as we all started talking on this topic. Yeah, then, why are you so sad for the having a baby, huh? Do you want to be my kid's name? Nope, I'll be Godfather. You will be evil father. His command made all of you laugh at saying when. Meanwhile, a girl was getting too much jealous and angry at their talks. She glanced at her time by time and her expressions weren't positive at all. I'm caring for coffee, don't you all? Yeah, coffee please. I knew she was about to stood up, but before she could, no auntie, I both of you stood up while saying at the same time. But stop soon noticing, and this means you like your tongue. I will go and make coffee for you all. She spoke with about making the discourse. There was a need to pout, right? Ah, uh, no more help can you. We are our guests. We don't appreciate our guests doing our work as being the only daughter in law to know it's my duty, isn't it? You pressed the whole word and faked a smile. And clearly you saw her rolling her eyes and poking her tongue on her cheek before forcing a smile with a note. Then bring me a glass of juice. She ordered with attitude that caught everyone's gaze. That made her yell eyes her tongue and she felt awkward. I mean, I don't drink coffee, so you got it. You see, I walked away while they made trying to hide in the atmosphere when Jung was lost in his thoughts. Soon they turned and served him coffee. But Mirai hasn't forgot how he behaved savagely. Whether it was on dining table, baby dogs, or a scene that happened a few moments ago, she was still pissed off, and as soon as you went to crave her juice, she put her leg in front of you that no one noticed. And he stumbled forward that made the juice fall over Mirai. Meanwhile, Jungkook came and instant to make you stood up. You okay? Yeah. Jungkook, you should ask me, you know, do you want me to release from the whole juice on my craft? When I wanted you to stumble and got hurt, but not wanted the juice or smell on her, but it did. That made her more angry and she began speaking without thinking. Didn't you have eyes to see why I you hate my dress with many words? How? Shut up, Mirai. Why, Jungkook, it's true that your parents' heart isn't good at all. 
She didn't love you a bit. Instead, you could tell me her symptoms made everyone gasp in amazement except you. What rubbish. How dare you? Because I love you so, cool, so much. Everyone was taken aback by her statement. What? He has three men. I'm in love with these men's qualities. But you never saw my love and grief me as a friend. But I couldn't stop myself from falling to you. I couldn't even confess. But look, I came back to miss you falling in love with me. Everyone's expression shifted to disappointment, frustration. Don't tell me that's the reason you became my secretary. What if I say yes? I can't see you with anyone else. Jungkook's eyes narrowed in anger. You still think like this, no way. I'm married. How could you? Because I know it was arranged. No one can fall in love. Who told you this? I love her in since childhood. She was, is, and was forever my only love. No one can change the fact. Alright, but... Jungkook's father got extremely angry at her. Girl, that's enough. You are in Jungkook's mansion, and you are still standing up and insulting our daughter. Just get out of here. So Mirang was dragged out by the guards and you all filled it out. I never thought this will happen. I'm sorry, you all. No, son, don't. It was a new mistake. See it here. Don't be guilty. He also trusted her. Jungkook Cook made her and Grant's excuse before announcing that he will be taking leave now. And everyone decided to away as well. Jungkook, you don't have to be sorry, huh? Don't feel bad. It was just a good feeling I got from her. But I didn't want to ruin your friendship at any exception. You see, you're sitting on the bed and cupping his gloomy face in your hand. I know he's in struggle, but I know how much of a gentleman auntie and uncles have bought up. I'm aware of your character, personality. You are a real man, and I trust your body. I'm so lucky to have a husband like you. You gave him an affectionate smile, attaching your forehead with him. That made him smile. And now I'm luckier than you to have such an understanding wife. You attach your forehead to look at him with a teasing smile. Moreover, what is he doing in love with me since I do not? Why you didn't tell me? Because he always said you wouldn't get into a relationship and will complete your studies. So I admired from afar, waiting for you to achieve your dreams so that I could confess and make you fall for me. But I didn't get a chance to confess because when you completed your studies, my parents began convincing me to get married. So I simply sealed your name. He shrugged his shoulders as he nodded in understanding, and I simply agreed. Why is a golden boy like you? Thank you for waiting for me and loving me. He exhaled and looked in his eyes with your shiny ones. Although he still must go, though he confessed, he really loved to jump Gook. His eyes lighted with a profound joy, and a genuine smile graced his face. Oh God, I waited my whole life just to hear these three magical words from you. Yeah, but if you had confessed on our wedding, maybe we wouldn't have wasted our wedding. Jungkook's eyes widened in shock. What? No one, please tell me. It's a lie. Otherwise, it would be the greatest regret of her life to waste my wedding now. He burst into laughter at his winning. Stop laughing. I know you're more than myself. Tell us that you weren't ready then. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. That's why I waited until now. He nodded boringly and there was a cheeky smile. 
say, yeah, you're going to die. I'm all in. I said, no, I am. <laughs> I'm already on God wasted. I arranged another one soon. I'm getting the celebrated on a wedding night. It's not good. No need. Make me to go. Stop it. No, I want Jungkook for the mysterious guy that has eyes almost on my dude. I mean, she did a place and she go. Cook, please. Jungkook couldn't help but adore the way your library code in this room. As the taking subsided, he took a moment to show his features. Then we didn't capture your lips, to which you responded with the same passion and love. I love you so much, Ryan. I'm thankful to 